Mastering reported speech. Unleashing the power of can, could, and be able to. Hello learners! Welcome back to another exciting lesson on mastering English grammar. Today, we'll dive into the fascinating world of reported speech, with a special focus on reporting modal verbs like can, could, and be able to. Grab your notebooks, let's jump right in. First things first, let's clarify the difference between direct speech and reported speech. Direct speech is the exact words someone says, usually within quotation marks. For instance, I can swim. Reported speech, on the other hand, is when we tell someone else what another person said. So, I can swim, in reported speech becomes, he said he could swim. It's crucial to remember that when we change from direct to reported speech, the verb tense often changes. This is known as backshifting. Now, let's talk about how to report, can. When we switch from direct to reported speech, can, generally becomes, could. For example, direct, I can swim. Reported, he said he could swim. Take a moment to practice this with a few examples of your own. Next up, could. When reporting, could, it stays as, could. Here's an example, direct, I could swim when I was younger. Reported, she said she could swim when she was younger. Give this a try with some more sentences. Lastly, we'll look at reporting, be able to. When, be able to, is reported, it generally changes to, was, were able to, or stays as, be able to, depending on the context. For example, direct, I am able to swim. Reported, he said he was able to swim. Direct, I will be able to swim after my lessons. Reported, she said she would be able to swim after her lessons. Now, it's your turn to convert some, be able to, sentences from direct to reported speech. And there you have it. You're now equipped with the knowledge to report, can, could, and be able to. Keep practicing this, and you'll soon master the art of transforming direct speech into reported speech. We hope this video has been helpful, and we can't wait to see you in the next one where we'll tackle more English grammar topics. Happy learning!